these four meditation classes which I am trying to teach, <coughs> the purpose is not that I want to make yogis and something, but uh, my concept is very well settled. Human works in his life out of fear. When you grow up, <coughs> you start dating, you think you will never get married. When you grow up, you want to collect things and money and become rich. When your old age comes, you may not be taken care of. We are mostly guided by misery and fear. And misery needs company. I don't care what anybody says and how they say it. Let me say it one thing and you just put it in your mind. Let's put it this way. When you are in your life as you are, doesn't matter who you belong to, what philosophy you have, <coughs> what do you want to say and what do you really want to feel. But as a person, you are afraid always that you will be lonely, you will be rejected, you will be unloved, you will be poor, <coughs> you won't have meals tomorrow. <coughs> if you are married, what do you do for your children, what do you do for this, what do you... Nobody acts out of love. I mean, <coughs> look, we are five billion people and I'm very regretfully saying this, that we don't even have an iota of understanding what God is all about. We have no consequences to even face, no story to tell, that God does it all. We feel we do it all. <coughs> the life is based on insecurity, fear, when you are insecure and you are fearful, that's reasonable. That's okay, that's animal. Animal is always insecure and very fearful and uh, <coughs> when he's hungry, he goes for a meal. And even the lion, the beast of the king, beast, king of the beast, he likes to make a kill and eat it two, three, four days. So it is in our uh, self. <coughs> no, I can be misunderstood that I'm a religious man and I'm a yogi, I'm talking. No, I'm a businessman and I make my money and pay my taxes. Live my life much more normal than you live. Don't expect much. What I found out in my life in 20 years, I came, I built up all this what I built up, but I gave and gave and gave and gave and tried to find out, does somebody realize? Answer was no. There's no horizon. <coughs> there's no infinity. There's no horizon. There's no vastness which a human should have. And then there are meditation and then there are happy group and then group of light and group of satans and yeah, you just, you walk out of the window, you find 200 yogis and 300 groups and 600 teachings and <coughs> 800 religions and their branches and priests, padres, swamis and all that whole thing. But not a single person can take away the fear of the man. Isn't it a shame? The concept of life when it's based on fear, where happiness can be. <clears throat> I don't want to dig into your book, bank accounts, your political power, your religious conviction. I have nothing to do with all that. Just a fundamental elementary situation. And that is, everybody is afraid and act out of fear. So long you act out of fear, you have to compromise. What fear does to you, your range becomes short term, your thinking becomes short term. Your concept becomes narrow. 
you become a bootstrapper, you just want to survive. And that means survival now. And that makes every human stupid, period. You don't have to ask for a certificate. Because <clears throat> when a vast range contracts to a small range, do you understand the impact? Do you understand this room as it is, if it's brought down to the sh size of this uh, uh, bench on which I'm sitting, what will happen to you all? You have an idea? So what happens is that <coughs> our goal with our children is short term, our goal in our uh, mates is short term, and goal in our relationship is short term, goal in our love is short term, Everything is short, small. We talk big. Let us see. Politically, on the 8th of November, we had an election. Let's put it simple. Now let's talk our national strategy. All right? We are Americans. Read my lips. I'm not going to raise, sh uh, I'm not going to raise taxes, right? That, that's all it was. And nobody wants to pay taxes. They say, well, I vote this guy in. If it is true that our national debt is whatever it is, it comes to $28,000 per person, born this minute. He carries it at rate of 10%. That is is $2,800. So per year, each one up, forget about taxes. You pay national debt interest per individual, whether you earn or not, $2,800. And not a single American wants to recognize it. Are we educated? No. Are we real? No. Are we a nation? No. Are we Americans? No. So what do we do? Short term arrangement, write hard checks on the treasury, print more notes, <coughs> and steal it from here, steal it from there, make feel good. And don't we all do it at home? Same thing? What Reagan did, or what Bush is going to do, or Dukakis wants to do, is the same thing. <clears throat> That's national. International level, we help everybody in the world and we get kicked out. Philippines, which we almost made to live, now raised our staying of our ships there. Can you believe? They should pay for their defense. We pay them just to be there. What a wonderful nation. Isn't it marvelous? And our children are dying without medical, our people are hungry, there is a homeless problem, and uh, we are sending help to Contra rebels. <coughs> you may not be interested in these political figures or this news, but that shows our behavior. It's not politics, it's a national thinking. Short-term patchwork. Somebody gets scared, he works it. In home, same thing. We work out of fear. There is no fearlessness. And we talk of God. I go to every church, I meet a lot of holy men. Uh, yeah, before I got ill, I started uh, before this uh, this meeting of peace, ISIS. They started doing it. I start calling in the end of my courses, all religious denomination, Christians, Hindus, whatever in the town. They all came, and they all said, "We are willing to meet. We are willing to unite. We are willing to discuss. But what about our turf?" I never understood. First of all, what they are trying to talk. So there was an interdenominational priest. I asked him, everywhere I go, I'm the one here. 
I invite them, I spend money, I give them a good cup of tea, we want to just talk and communicate, and they talk about tough. He said, there's a problem. I said, what is the problem? They say to a very clever man, you'll take Christians, Hindus, and all the Muslims, anybody in this country, you'll convert them. I said, it's a fair country. I convert them, they convert me. Something is okay. He said, no, <coughs> you do not understand. You go and teach and you charge and you earn and you pay taxes. You have a system different. Here, if there are nobody in the congregation, that bucket goes out, that comes empty. Church doesn't get painted for two years. It's the dependability. Church has become dependable on the congregation. It's upside down. Actually, the congregation should depend on church. Students should depend on the teacher, not teachers should depend on the student. It's stupid is that teacher depends on the student. What student can do? Wood should depend on the car. Uh, Art, artist or the carpenter, what it will be. Not a carpenter should depend on the wood. In our life, we have counselors. We pay them, they counsel us. And you know what is counseling? Lie down on a sofa and start talking your story and the person start doing who, 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 who. It's a mantra. <laughs> he does, hmm, hmm, yeah, uh -huh. okay, uh -huh. more, yeah, that, like this. And after all, in 45 minutes, person get exhausted. He feels he has let it all out. And next week, that's what we have become. Give me one counselor who say, you stupid idiot, why you did this, and how dare do you do it? Which is this, took out this, this is your subconscious, this is your conscious, this is your top, your bottom, your legs are out, this is this, you are naked. You drop dead. Is there anybody who <laughs> can do that? Give me one. Oh, no way. <laughs> me, you know, make, I, <laughs> You know, I did my PhD not for charging money and running the clicking the watch. You know, my, my theory is very simple. My life is very simple. My theory is very simple. My visit to America is very simple. I didn't come in this country to become rich and famous. That's not my idea. I believe in the creation of God. I believe man should be as God created him. I'm not a Sikh because... Religion is great. <clears throat> I interpret the religion. I don't care. Sikhs don't like me. I'm a head of the religion. Can you believe they, they have a head of religion whom they don't like? Because my conception and my concept and my experience is my personal. I, I was just talking this afternoon, you can read anything in a book and you can know anything you want. You know, people with knowledge are more stupid than people who don't know anything because they know and they think that's it. They're not going to act. They're not, people don't act. When I go to the aeroplane and I see somebody with this thick book and going through the pages and I just pray for that person's eyes. <laughs> now, how a stupid a man can be that he's flying 33,000 feet up and he's killing his eye. While driving, while flying, in any moment, you are not supposed to use your eyes for any concentrated purposes. It's damaging. Then ilocoma, galicocoma, tamamoma, yeah, whatever, you 20 diseases and this and that. Who can tell anybody these days? Can anybody say, you are not supposed to and don't? Do you know that every evening <coughs> you have to have a drink, you have to go to movies, you have to do something because you are not trained your butts to sit on it. 
You can't. You, you don't have nerves. Everybody promised there will be no drugs. I do not agree. There shall be drug and flood of it. There shall be divorces and flood of it. There shall be lot of law and order problem and nobody can stop in America because you don't understand. Americans have lost their nerve. The itch doesn't make any sense except pain and a pain person can act any way he wants. We act out of fear and pain. Tragedy was not that much. Tragedy started when we started accepting it. <coughs> I won't name the state official, but that state official is next to the governor, very high state official. I met him, and he said, it's my special day. I'm very honored you came. I said, good. So I'd like to introduce you to my family. This is my first wife, and this is her husband. This is my second wife, and this is her husband. This is my third wife is a husband. This is my wife, and I am her husband. I cracked up. <laughs> That's his family. He has divorced thrice, and all those three are married, and all those three, six people were at his house with his children and with their children, and uh, what to do? You know why? We don't meditate. We don't meditate. We hesitate to meditate. And we don't have nerves. And when eventuality comes, we are stuck by calamity, a challenge, or anything. We don't know how to deal with it. So we have become reactive. A reactive human is just a two-leg animal. Forget about his makeup and forget about his titles and forget about his degrees and forget about his profession and his religion and his grace and his status. Period. Animal reacts. Human is rational. Consolidatedly rational. An angel in us is created. We are three. Beast, man, and angelic. Angel. Higher self, lower self, middle self. Is there any treatment to it? Is there any way out? Yes, there is a way out. But you have to have the nerve. You have to have the guts. You have to have the strength. First of all, you have to be noble and then have the honor to protect your own nobility. You know, you don't have to do anything for me. I have to do anything for you. Not at all. You don't have to do anything for the world. world has not to do for you. You have to do every. Look how simple this world is. You have to do everything for yourself and then maintain it, protect it. Tell you the story of a rich man. He came in this country, became rich and rich and rich, very rich. One day we were sitting, he said, uh, you seem to be well to do, but you seem to be happy. I said, you seem to be very rich, but you seem to be very happy. He said, no, I pretend to be happy, I'm miserable. I said, what you can be miserable for? Why? What's wrong with you? Your wife has not divorced you. That's one credit. Your children are not disobedient. You're a little bit reasonably spiritual person. You go to the church, your children go to church. I said, that's a phenomenon I've never seen. That's what I came to your house. You're one family. You go to church and your children go to church. And they go to because they want to go to church. And your parents go to church. He said, that's right. And you have money, you have so many corporates, so much investment, you're so rich. How can you be in difficulty? He said, can I we go to the study room? I said, here we go. I said, all right. 
So we sat in that study room and I, I said, cut short, come out. I know it already, but if you just, just tell me straight, it will ease my time, your time, our time, you know. He said, I'm scared. I said, what for? He said, I'm scared to be rich. <laughs> I never heard that phenomena before. Somebody is scared to be rich. I said, what is it? He said, I don't know. I'm scared to be successful. I said, how do you feel? He said, I think I have stolen from some people. There are so many poor people and I'm rich. I think I'm a thief. I said, do you see anything wrong? No. Have you ever cheated? No. Have you ever lied? No. Have you do some under the table, over the table, side the table? He said, no. He said, what is it? He said, I'm just afraid. I am scared to be rich. I am scared to listen to this. I'm scared to be happy. I said, you're scared to be in one piece. He said, you're right. That's why I wanted to sit with you privately. And I want to know what I can do. I won't tell you what I told him, but in three minutes after that, he believed he will never be unhappy ever again. That's the Indian formula. That's n that doesn't work in America. But he volunteered himself. He said, do anything I'll do. I honestly trust you. You're a man of God. I really have reverence for you. I even went to your class once, he said, and get me out of the fear. I said, it's a very simple thing. It will take five minutes. So I told him to do something which was more afraid than anybody ever has seen. I said, which one is better? He said, I'm okay. Keep up. We have a comparative study of life. More we go, more afraid we become, more afraid we become. And actually, to be very honest, what we have, we are not grateful. What we don't have, we don't worry about. Why? Because we are basically lonely. We don't talk to our girlfriend. We have no relationship with it. And that's our soul. There's a word called soul, some, son. These are three words. Soul, S-O-L-E, soul. S-O-U-L, soul. You spell it anyway. Some, son. The totality. Sun, the light. I have seen groups which are, which teach you enlightenment. They think by burning a candle, there's a light. Yeah, the room gets lit. But do we get lit? Candle in us, we have never lit it. We don't have a matchstick to trigger it even. When we have that phony living and shallow living that we don't have any relationship with our own soul, what other relationship mean to us? We live because of the soul. We die because of the soul. And we have no relationship. We want to win. We want to be victorious. We want to be great. And we have no nerves. No grit. No courage. You think anybody wants to be foolish? Not at all. You think anybody wants to be wrong? No. Anybody wants to be rude? No. You think there is any woman in the world who wants to be prostitute? No. I'll say daringly no. It is not having the nerve what puts us there, where we don't want to be. We don't have a power to challenge and challenge to death. So I thought it's Guru Gaddi day, it's Guru's day. So let us have about four sets to clean you out. I don't teach these days. 
not my prerogative anymore. But I thought it's very ridiculous, I'm still alive. There are people who loved me, they came with me all so far. They believe they have the right to be happy, but they have to have guts. I love imperial guts. I love two things. You might think I love God. Eh? No. I'm very selfish. I don't love God. I don't love anything. I love in identity of integrity and dignity. Two things. ID. If you don't love these two things, you don't know who you are and you don't love anything. Scale out your life on the two parallel lines and let your loose caboose run on it and find it out where is your integrity and where is your dignity. I mean, don't go to anybody. Analyze yourself. Do you have it? You can't be social because you're scared that you can be scandalized. You can be rich because you can be afraid that somebody will steal you. You cannot be honorable. You do not know what it is. You need a mind, vast computer, intuitive mind. Intuitive mind can give you in, in integrity. <clears throat> An undivided mind will give you divinity. Hey, this religion, religion, everybody marks at it is no good. I don't know what a religious. I don't know what, it, what they think religion is. <clears throat> religion is just nothing but a pure realism of self acknowledgement and self experience, which is God. Listen to me. Tell me I'm totally wrong and I tell you I'm absolutely, what I'm telling you according to your standard is totally wrong. There's no God out there, period. It's all within you. Neither there was, nor there will be, nor there can be. God is in you. God is in your integrity, in your identification of your divinity with dignity. What is dig divinity? when you have absolutely no duality. I say, don't love anybody. But God, don't be too fast. Maybe, I don't know. Nah, I, 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 you know when you do those kind of things? It means you are not intelligent and you can't compute to even answer what is to be answered. And there's no teachers also. I understand teachers need money. They have to please the student. And everybody comes, how many students got? How many centers you got? How rich you are, how poor you are, is totally ridiculous. I must say, the teacher under whom I study, you are not already rich. I have never seen richness in America. I was born rich, I was born not with a silver spoon, with a big gold spoon in my mouth. I never knew what poverty is. I never understood. I mean, even still, I to, you know, biggest thing for me is to say no. I don't know how to say it. It doesn't exist in me. Sometimes, really, people think I, I'm just a confused man because I will never say no. Because I don't believe there is something as no. If I cannot do it, I'll try to do it. If not, I'll twist the arm of God to make it happen. Why not? Take a little time. Big deal. I don't know how to say no. I do not know how to put down another person. You can look terribly in my presence if you come and say so, so is bad. 
that make me so horrible inside. I can't, I say, what is this? This is human? You know, sometimes you say, I don't look so and so. That person is stupid. That person is slav. That person is good. That person is black. That person is yellow. Yeah, 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 yeah. It looks like cockroaches trying to run like a horse. <laughs> That's how I feel. And this is how I feel, a man of God. Just imagine how God feels. Put down, set down, say things, being jealous, being angry, unbelievable. They yell, scream, just wake up somebody within the rule. These are tools. Senses are tools. Senses are not ends. Great sensitivity, great sensation. Use it as a tool so that you can move, move forward. So I thought, let me track down my own foot. Somebody did me good, taught me to meditate. <coughs> I don't think under my teacher anybody of you can stay one day and a quarter. There's no way. With all my richness, with all my authority, can you believe he took me, put me on the tree and he said, stay there till I come back and he showed up three days later? I was on a tree, tried some time. <laughs> Somebody said, get on this tree. I thought he's telling me to go and get something up there. He said, well, stay there till I come back. And I thought he'll come back an hour, two, and three, or something like that. Three days later, he said, how are you feeling? <laughs> and you know what I said? I said, great. He came down, he said, it must be miserable. I said, no. I've learned how to sit on the tree for three days. That's more divine than God can give me heavens. He said, how you managed? I said, well, the greatest difficulty was to clean myself. That was the worst. <laughs> and uh, I don't know what you might have thought. Then I figured it out that this tree has uh, splits. And in the each split, it, it contains water at night. It brings automatic water. And I found out that the water is drinkable, is usable. And then I found out also that tree has small leaves. If you put them or chew them, you don't feel hungry. And I said, worst thing is that I didn't have a bath. And it was a hot summer and I stinked, you know. Then I said, there must be something. It's, there's not too much water, and there's nothing, everything, but there must be something. So I went on the top, and I found some leaves which were kind of a yellowish color. And I make a big bundle of it and rubbed my body with it. It was very cool. And somehow, survival, the fittest, I found everything on the trees, okay, cozy. It's all hidden. Simply, I have to track it down. Then comes night, how to sleep. Now a guy like me, whose servant makes the bed and uh, flower petals are sprinkled and only your small king, sir, you know, that kind of stuff. Now I'm on the tree. If I fall, it is 18 feet down. I understand. And there were rocks. I, mean, I had a good idea if I fall, what will happen to me. And you know, when, when you sleep, you sleep on the steering wheel. You don't care accident happens. <coughs> and I knew how to sleep. And I found out if I can curl on the side in a baby pose, I can tangle my leg, legs into one twine. And if worst come to worst, I'll be hanging, but I won't fall. <laughs> and that worked. <laughs> yes, it was very painful. And what was it? Because just the teacher said, be on this tree, and I'll come back, and I'll, we'll go together. Three days later. That is how the Oriental teach. Very difficult. You can't have a teacher. For you, teacher is a man. For us, teacher was a way to God. That's the difference. That's the difference. For me, my teacher was my way to God. 
I don't care whether he was educated or not, he was rich or not, he will cheat me or not, or con me or not. I thought I had every intelligent right to decide who my teacher is. But once I have now made it, now I'm going to make it, doesn't matter what. To me, it was a way to God. And look, I came to America, I still say trunk pie. I do not say turn. I still pronounce it wrong. And there are you sitting like, what he's going to say? I still say so many wrong words. Now intentionally, because that's the way my humor is. I still remember I used to make Shakti sit in the class and when I speak English, English and is not American, so she will tell me, people don't understand what you say. That's how I started. I learned. But one thing is, I never had a fear that I will not have students. I never had a fear I won't be successful. I never had a fear. Who'll do my PR? No, I didn't have anything. In Canada, when I came, everything fell apart. So I used to make a song. One day, the day shall come when all the glory shall be dying. People say to you, I shall deny not mine. And we used to drive the car and used to make up verses and sing and be happy. Twenty years ago, a man came who couldn't by any virtue of sight, action and otherwise be even allowed to be imagined he's a yogi. That was me. When I came to the immigration here, they said, certify your yogi. You know, we are giving you a green card. And I said, no, nah, Canadian government got me as a yogi. I am very valid yogi. Don't bother me. He said, no, that's Canada. This is America. I said, what do you want? He said, I want a certificate which should prove that you are a yogi. Then we'll get a, give you a green card. I said, I don't think you want to give me a green card. He said, why? I said, well, who can tell you that I'm a yogi or not? He said, I don't care who can tell me. All I need is somebody to tell me, which I cannot refuse. I said, oh, how many days you have? He said, three more days. Otherwise, your file will be rejected. That's why I call you in person. I say, you don't have to worry. I went down to Bank of America. I paid one dollar. I told the girl to type it. I, your Pajan Singh, so and so, hereby certify I'm a perfect good yogi. <laughs> Sign a seal, sworn by this, stamp stamp, whole thing. I brought three copies. I gave him one. I said, here you are. He said, but this is your declaration. I said, who else, you can? Who else can tell me I am good? He said, I can't, I can refuse it. I said, I'll sue you tomorrow at 10 o'clock. File application file in the court. That you are harassing. He said, this is your word of honor. You told me you cannot, you cannot refuse this. It's a legal document. Prove it otherwise. He said, okay, okay, okay. I'll accept it. I said, that's fine. <laughs> Fear is good when we are afraid to be bad. But just to live out of fear, deal out of fear, think in fear, imagine in fear, is terrible slap on the face of God. You know what fear means to me, in my terms, in my dictionary? When I totally betray God Almighty. It's a treachery. It's my treachery against God. That's fear to me. Yes, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to say no. I'm afraid not to help people. <clears throat> I'm afraid to not uplift anybody. I have, I have hundreds of fear. But that is a force which brings my love out. I'm afraid to deny anybody which good I can do. But just make total life nothing but a bunch of fear and making yourself fool of all the time and be what fear does to you is it makes you narrow, 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 narrow. It shrinks you. 
fear is a shrinking process. Whereas on the other words, you want to expand, you want to be great, you can, you can be wonderful, you want to be happy. It won't come from smallness. Small is not all. And all is not small. Do you understand English? Do you understand all? Is expression. How you spell small? How you smell all? Why the hell you are a great American, you don't cut down that SM and just, just believe in one word all? Tell me. Nobody can tell you. You don't have one person in your life who can just tell you, hey, get up! Don't act small. If your father tells you, you walk out of the house. If your mother tells you, you stop eating her food. If your wife tells you, you start flirting with other women. If your children tell you, you spit at them. Because you don't want to listen. I was just telling some kid, I said, you are very mischievous. You know what mischief is? when you miss to be a chief. He said, no, I want to be chief. I said, you're going to miss it. And I'm not, there's nothing wrong in it. You can miss it if you want to miss it, you know. You want to miss the meal, you want to miss to be great, you want to miss to have a good car, you want to miss all that. He said, no. I said, then, that all belongs to a chief. He said, you ride a good car, I say, I'm chief religious administrative authority. I have to, though I may not like it. I want to that car. I say, don't miss to be a chief. And don't do mischief. I think that child will never forget it to his last day. So we are going to meditate today. It's, it's a hard day. I mean, this all good talk was to just uh, allure you into it. It was a bait. <laughs> I don't mean to <clears throat> not be honest. It's a very hard meditation. I want to do it because I have found out that you clog your mind with subconscious incomplete dreams and fears. And if that overloaded subconscious lives in you, everything else falls under its own weight. You don't have to do anything good or bad. You'll be miserable anyway. And that's a simple thing. Sometimes you take a break, you go for holiday, you try to relax, and then you get diarrhea in that holiday, and you get another miserable situation. You know. So nothing works out. So. Problem is the subconscious. You're not innocent. You're not, you're not clear. You're not pure. And you can't be because you think you have to survive. You don't believe that God which can rotate the earth can take care of your routine. You don't. That's not your religion. That's not your belief. Not that your philosophy. Let us see how you survive today. Are you ready? Well, I, I, I'm not going to uh, impress too much because you already paid, I think, and if you don't do it, we'll, we are good. You're just extra. So it's a net loss of 10 bucks. You know what I mean? But if you do it, it'll be, it'll be quite a good. And if you don't come to my other two meditation, don't. It doesn't mean anything at all. But I, I thought very, I was, I was very dishonest to myself that this is a Gurgadi day and we celebrate Guru's day and people who I know are just losing grips. They're not together. I don't like weak person.
to me, when this doesn't go well with me, I believe the man is born to show the eye of the God, eye of the God. And eye of the God is his attitude, his aptitude, and his projection should be just imperial. Okay? It's a very simple exercise, but <laughs> you know me. <laughs> Well, what should I do? My teacher was such, I learned that way. I don't know anything more than this. I can't do those kind of sit down 23 years and... <laughs> it's not the way. I don't believe, I don't believe that there's anything which we cannot experience and there's any truth which we cannot express mean anything. I believe, get it, get it, otherwise don't get it. Okay? Okay. Saturn finger, because <coughs> this is where patience is. You can't even raise this finger single. Huh? It means very reverse indication, you are abusing somebody, you know what I mean? But you have to lock it, it's Shani Mudra. Shani Mudra, one, two, one, two, one, all the way. Fast. I did it slow because I'm just uh, sorry. All right. What should I say? Come on. One down and one up and all the way and keep on doing. We should have some Dixie song going. In. <laughs> I saw somebody selling those sheep. He was just very exciting. I know how these salesmen, why they talk like that. People pull their purse out. <laughs> Something like it was very musical. Come on, come on. One down and one up and all the way. Now three nerve center meets in the kach armpit. If you ever are in the state of shit pit, <laughs> no, 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 take my word, I'm not that holy that I can use this word. This is a yoga class, it's not a gurdwara. That I have, I'm supposed to be squeezing my words and trying to go around, take three miles just to explain one paragraph. If you are ever in the shit pit, move the armpit. Remember this? I'm giving you a million dollar release, you don't understand? Come on, come on, that, woo, up, woo, that way, come on, heavy. I'm not asking you to stop and you can be ashamed your neighbor is doing and you are not. I mean, what impression you give to the guy on the side, huh? Especially the girls when men don't do it, they say, oh my God, this is a bogus man. Come on, come on, let's do it, all the way, fast. Actually, to be very frank with you, there should be a movement at least 40 per, 40 per minute to start, 40 per minute to start, 108 when you reach the rhythm. Uh -huh, move, move, really. Get going. You don't have to meditate, you don't have to think any negative thing. Any pornographic movie you have seen, you will all clean out whether you like it or not. Oh yeah, yeah, armpit is not a small thing, three nerve center meets there. Entire pattern of the brain is considered to be very important. Get the steam rolling. Try my way, do it right. Hit cross, heavy. But don't do it up and up both the time, that, that will cut it out. Cut! That's why one goes up, other goes down, other goes up, other goes down.
I don't know. You know, I'm going to sit anyway, whether you do it right or wrong. So, if you do it soon, then we'll finish it soon. Otherwise, 9, 10, 11, it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, you know, what should I do? I, I, I mean, I believe in experience. I don't believe in this garbage <coughs> talking, talking. I have talked enough. I told you what I'm going to do, then just come on. Otherwise, I'll cancel out the other two classes, you know. What's the idea? You want to be A1 when you leave this place, right? Come on, do it then, be honest. One time in your life, just get going. Just a little harder. Come on, you red brigade, come on. Come on. Well, what's the difficulty? The same. You go to this Jane Fonda, you pay so much money, and this is what you do there. Well, then don't go there, the dude here. Come on, hurry up. Work out. Come on, faster. Hey, Hari Jeevan, what are you making your nose for? Hurry up. Quicker! Powerfully! <laughs> what kind of yoga I can teach you in an hour or two, you can be just great. If I do that, I have to do something great. Small won't work. All you are doing is crossing the heart center magnetic field and moving the orbit, simple science. And brain has to repatternize its neurons to come out to the faculty that it should have a velocity to meet the challenge. That's all it is. Know it in English. Come on, come on, come on, come on, move your muscles. <coughs> Keep going. You can have it, you can change a dress later, doesn't matter if you sweat. <coughs> Some people are afraid if they sweat, they, they you know, they, they have to wash the clothes or do the dry clean. I'll include it in the class bill. Come on, hurry up. Move, move, move. I am looking. Get going, get angry, get, get it out. Misery needs the company, give it a company. It's a cross leap. It's leap upwards, cross leap. Look great, come on, keep going. Very nice. You guys. Hey, I know the child is alright, you do the exercise. Yeah, yeah. You need it the most, hurry up. <laughs> Siri then, open your eyes, move fast. What are you doing? I mean, you think I'm not looking at you? What Mitch must understand you got? Fast! What happened to your Bidwinton left and that right and you used to be such a show kid? Come on, do it. Left and right, give it all.
you know, this room will have such a steam engine going in a couple of minutes. You are not trying to reach that point and I'm, I can't stop. So hurry up and do it right. You are done only six minutes. Can you believe that? All right, four minutes. What do I care? If I get the result, then time is well spent. If not, you are not done right. Move, move. Cross, cross both sides, cross up, angular cross. Give yourself a chance, that's all it is. Fast though, as much you can. Get tired doesn't matter, but you'll break through that and then you'll enjoy it. This is a meditation. Meditation not closing the eyes and sitting and looking good. This is it. If you cross right, your angle is perfect, you are doing it, you are getting to the perfection and you are moving all right, system is going to recline to that pressure and demand and you are getting better and you are having a grit and it's giving you the... It will start... You know, if you keep on doing what I'm telling you, you start getting a sense of courage because you will get a sense of challenge. It contains a very powerful challenge. You will not like to do it. Cut that out. Get going. Don't stop. Don't look left and right. Doesn't mean a thing. We came here to become something. Job of the teacher is to build somebody, somebody, not build himself. Teacher is a teacher, he's already built in. Move, move in the name of Christ, in the name of Buddha, in the name of Nanak, in the way of Muhammad, in the way of Moses, in the main of any donkey, elephant, pigeon, move, God's sake, don't stop. Anything you can listen or it can motivate you. Dream good girls, dream best men, dream being a king, but keep moving, don't stop. Now you are going to give up soon, but that is the time you have to penetrate through. All the way up and go. Hey, it goes this way, that way, that's way. Come on. Good children, what I can do? See, I'm just trying, you see. These guys are just funny. Hey, don't make your face horrible, smile. What's wrong with it? What face has to do with it? You are meeting moving arms. Come on, you look pretty, you do it right, get going. Are you afraid to sweat? Huh? Then what's the fear? Keep going. Are you sweating? All right, if you do seven more minutes, I think oh. that... Oh, what a, what a business. I didn't say fifteen, I just say seven. I mean, hey, I just want to see a blue aura. That's all I want to see. And if you really put through, 
It's coming, going, that's not, that's not the way I want to look at it. Come, 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 move, move. Why this is a Kundalini Yoga, it is not, what should I call it? It is not money taking yoga, it is money giving yoga. Get going! Move! Angle it right, angle it correct. Both sides over your ears, left and right, beat it hard. Move! Those zens are good if you just move a muscle, they spank you. Because it's religious, you can't sue them. <laughs> it's true. It's a religious practice for centuries. Cross, cross, cross. Cross left, cross right. It's a fight between Shushmana, the center of you, and Iddha and Pingala. That's what it is. <coughs> Hurry up! You tore up something? Keep going. <laughs> I can't believe it. No, it's going. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> it's getting over time. Just push, please. Quickly lock it, please, up there, and move your hands up there very fast and powerful. Stay it up, stretched. Up, 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 up. Don't bend those. And move. Move, move. The whole body will jump with it. Move. Whole thing. Oh, Jesus Christ, what wrong I have done today? <laughs> Am I speaking in French? Don't you understand? Hey, get up! Pull up with that! Move the damn pants with their whole fat, you elephants! Sitting on the big bums! Move! Those cushions! Break them! Come on! Up, 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 up! Kundalini is not in the head, it's down there. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we did so much exercise, you're going to waste time, you're going to get cold and you're going to be miserable. Up, up, up! Move up! A frost can do better than you. Pull, pull, pull! You know, your chest, your belly, your gonads, the whole area, the ovaries and all sexual area and digestive system is getting, telling you they are not with you. <laughs> you understand? Yes, sir. And pizza has no place. Come on, up, 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 up! I won't call your name, but I want you to jump up. Up, up, folks, and get into rhythm, please. Hey, get going. You want a raise? <laughs> this is the time. Rise, rise, you want experience the resurrection? Get going. Not possible? Hey, stamina gave up? Come on, come 
on, try, try, try again. There is but two reason why, there is what to do and I wrote this 600 into valley of the, come on, charge! What should I do? I know everything in English I have spoken. Come on, folks. Hey, it won't work. You got to jump with all the pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. If these things would have been so easy, everybody would have become a yogi and wise and perfect and happy and nirvana. They all talk. Rise, rise. You don't want to rise? When milk is heated, it rises. You know? Wine fragments, that is rising. Bread rises, cake rises. What is wrong with you? Get going up! Don't stop! Pull up! God, where we got stuck here? Look at that, right? All right, all right, put your hand on your shoulders and move left, right, quick, fast. Doesn't matter, everybody will give you a space if you make the circle right. And those who are with the wall, please don't break the ashram wall. Just move a little further. Why you sat there? Didn't you know it can happen? No. All right. Now move. Poor thing, it's a delicate situation, but move, please, move, move. Move the spine, move, 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 move. All right, all right, all right, that's enough. Put your hands here, and this is how quick it has to be. Watch this. It has to be sh electric shot system. You have to use the electric system of your body to give it a shock. It will come through. You don't need a pacemaker or all that stuff. Come on! Otherwise you start moving PVC, CPC, whatever they call them. Hurry up! Give it a system! Now, if you cannot do this, what are you going to do, huh? Create a shock, you understand? It should look like you are hit by electric lightning. That's how it should be. It is not a rehearsal. Act right. Give your system a chance, God. We are done so far. so that your impulse can act to challenge and automatically your brain can understand what is the answer. You don't have the time to think. Compute it. <coughs> Somebody ran away? Why are you not doing because you are my personal secretary? No freedom here is free. There's no liberty without labor. Come on! Really do it. It's a wonderful thing. We want result. We don't want just go to the San Francisco, watch the scenery and never reach the city. Forget about that. Come on! Give it a shock treatment, your own system. Your system must understand how to react under a shock. 
So create it. We are just creating a pattern in the brain to respond. Now is that a sin? First we shielded ourselves, then we uh, resurrected ourselves, now we are shocking ourselves. Put it in a simple English. Aren't these three responses are essential for any human being who wants to live honorable? What are you trying to adjust the camera? Camera adjust it. Do the exercise. Look at him. Yeah, you are doing it fine. Come on, folks. I love excuses. Excuse me. Now create a voluntarily heavy shock. Like feel really you are touched by a heavy electric current. Just make, create that sense misery. So the patronize the system. Listen, if you touch a live current, you will jump. You know, there's no big deal. But later on, your body can be paralyzed. Your body can go through turmoils. You can have this, you can have... What they call it happens to the brain? Concussions and this and that. Convulsions, convulsions. Get out of all that. Do it yourself. La, la, la. Now, what are you stopping for? Keep doing. You got to shock the system that the system can stand before you and apologize. Says, Please, I will never ever let you down. You know what I'm saying? See, does it? Look at him. This little skinny guy, doctor, is doing it so well. Why can you not all do it? <laughs> hey, sit down on this. The show to everybody. Look, watch this guy. He's pretty good. He's out on it. Set. Nothing can stop him. <laughs> you not me. You got to do like this. There's nothing to play small, you got to play big. <coughs> all right, all right, that's good. Now please listen to this. Before your face only, First for ENT, this is a psycho, psychosomatic treatment for ENT, eyes, nose and throat, that's it. <laughs> Just move fast though, create your own magnetic field. It should be so fast like a fan goes, you can't see the hands, that's how it should be. Keep your eyes open please, you want the eyesight or not? Eyes has to be open, a right look through it. Concentrate. Fast, fast, folks. Sweetheart, come on. God gave you the most beautiful here and they can be taken care of, but just move fast. Good, good, very good. Good, good, very good, very, very good. Right? There's a song.
Today it looks funny to me, you know. I would say, when is going to stop the car? <laughs> hey, we are not going to stop it. We are going to experience it. Come on, quick, fast. You must see through your eyes in front of you. It should look like a one hand is moving. That's how fast it should be. Concentrate, please, please. Get going. Somebody is disappearing in the closet for what? <laughs> Come on, do the exercise. You guys, come on! <laughs> I know the possibility. Hurry up now, match up the slow you did and the closet you went in. Hurry up, hurry up, fast, fast, move. Move, really move fast. Okay, put your hands in your armpit and close your eyes and stay still. And relax, and relax, and relax, and relax, and relax. And from the close of the eye, see your tip of your nose. <coughs> Eyes will remain closed, but concentrate down and down deep. You can see the lower blue right in the closed eyes. Press the armpits and tighten your arms there so well that they can't move. It's the automatic interlock of the weight. And keep the eyes closed. Look deeper and deeper at the tip of your nose. If you concentrate well, you will see the white lining underneath the eyes dancing for you. <coughs> but if not that, you will see a dark horizon and you will be just looking at that. Forehead and frontal brain will feel the pressure, patronization will be sealed and it will give you a good start in life. Come with me to my heart and visit my heavens.
Raise us from the dirt and mud and made each one a man. He told us how to live as saints and to always be as one. He told us of the days ahead and to learn to sacrifice. For it's not to die that matters. The courage in your life For to die for truth Is to live forever Though for some The cycle of fear Shall never end Just like flowers In the rain Waiting for the sun This time, please sing with it. Continue as you are.
Oh, uh-huh. 
Please sing. In the heavens ponderosa where the pinion meets the sky And the heart is granite mountain meets the rain clouds Flying high As you and I look out and see the world spread out below With different eyes and hearts and all the different things we know there are cars down on the highway, ten miles to the east. See the guilt of distant sunlight and the rats at dancing beat. But to you, you see their faces in the failing lives they lead. Then you wink at me and reckon there's a way I might succeed. Walking up the mountain and I got
Walking up the mountain, climbing side by side, walking up the mountain with you. With you, I'm never certain just exactly where I stand. You scare me when you do the things I just can't understand. If I slow down, you tell me that I'm moving up too fast. If I speed up, you tell me to slow down here. You'll never last. When I ask you how to live my life, you laugh and ask me why. You tell me I'd be better off to ask you how to die. Come with me, we'll climb up through the sandstone to the sky. Oh, Yogi, son of Buddha, come see with your own eyes. Walking up the mountain, and I got you by my side. I got thunder in the valley, and this bone dry mountain. Walking up the mountain, climbing side by side, walking up the mountain with you. As the rain fell on the mountain, I saw every human life as the value of a raindrop falling from the sky it don't matter to the heavens just who lives and just who dies it don't matter to the rain cloud when the rain falls from the sky as the clouds blew off i saw the stars shining in the night in the trillion points of light i saw that each one had a light and if nothing seems to matter, tell me what's the life to do? You said the only thing that matters is the memory of you. Walking up the mountain, and I've got you by my side. I got thunder in the valley, and it's all right. Walking up the mountain, climbing side by side, walking up the mountain with you. And I felt like I was falling through the channels dark and light, saw the in and out was fast and hard as death and life. Insignificant is a total waste of time. When I saw you standing smiling, I cried, What right have you got? You said, Listen, son of Guru, I'm the best thing that you've got. I'm the kindness and the comfort 
Tighten the grip of the hands and the shoulder strength and bring yourself to a total stiff strength of oneself. Tighter, 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 tighter. Let it go. Inhale deep. Hold and start stretching upward and inward tighter. Resurrect your spine and bring the ribs to absolutely solid close. Let it go. Please inhale again deep Exhale deep, inhale deep, exhale deep, inhale deep, exhale deep, inhale deep, and stretch up and give in tight. Tighter. Free time I want is the time to sit Relax. With you. Relax. And listen to your words. And listen to your words. The only Find out a space and lie down in peace. If not, curl around. It is not necessary you lie down totally flat. In one way or the other, find a space. Curl around. And have a nap. Just sink in. And the God within each other. And the God within And get each lost. Other. This time a quick sleep and nap can do you better health service than anything else. Take it as a magician.
If you cannot snore, pretend it. So get lost quicker. troubles to me, child of God. I will hold you in my arms forever. The longing of your soul has finally brought you to my feet. Saints and angels are beckoning. Just give your heart to me. There's no reason to fear, child of God. Past is past and now it's time to leave it. Though you may be worried that someday we'll have to Eternal love is dwelling in our hearts. Him I am as strong and holy as those mountains that you see. We can climb those steps to God. Just put your faith in. Soon we'll be united, child of God. Worldly woes and cares are gone forever. Stars and moons will light our way throughout eternity. Grace of God will guide us through our path of destiny. Himalaya, Himalaya, I'm strong and holy as those mountains that you see. We can climb those steps to God, those steps will set you. Guru Gobind Singh, 
sat in the midst Heaven caught was his place He made the calls up From nothing but the midst Brought to the world the purest ray Climb those steps to God, just give your heart to me. All white covered heads, range after range, bring you the delight of strength. So you can walk as sons and daughters in this land Walking tall like the saints Himalaya, Himalaya As strong and holy as those mountains that you see steps to God I'm waiting there for thee In that place of solitude and inner space The Rishi's mind found perfection The Lord came down to tell him face to face to take a human incarnation to lead mankind to their highest state of mind that in those lofty peaks God consciousness that you see We can climb those steps to God Those steps will set you free We can climb those steps to God I'm waiting there for thee We can climb those steps to God just give your heart to me. Himalaya. 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 Inhale deep. Roll your feet and your hand and try to rise. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Put some hips on. Just stretch out. May the long time sun shine upon you. Oh, now, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, no, not the, again the same thing. Come on, let us sing loud and clear and the best of us.
blessed is the peace, peace of mind, peace of the nation, peace of the world. Blessed are those that put their pieces together to become one piece forever in the light and the guidance of God's will. Blessed are those who seek to serve others and those who try to crown others' glory. Blessed are those who see God in all and in everything and remain tranquil and peace and prepare their life to flow into the heavenly abode. Satla. Thank you very much. God bless you. It's a birthday. Let us sing to him. Come on, folks. It's the Sadnam Singh birthday. Sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sadnam Singh. Happy birthday to you. Very good. Now you will be served with something. Is Thank you very much. You know, Sri Sanat Sadhanam Singh is a very professional international dancer. Have you ever seen him dancing? <laughs> he took Germany by surprise. He's pretty good. He's pretty good.